In this video, we'll talk about the last kind of JavaScript data that we're going to be using. And we're going to implement a deck of cards using this data type. The data types we've already seen are booleans, numbers, and strings. And so those are the basic data types. And then we saw arrays, which have some special properties around order. And they can contain any other kind of data type. And then we're going to see this next data type, objects, which, like arrays, can hold inside any other data type, uh, but have some different properties to them. So we're going to be looking at how objects can hold data inside and what we're going to use them for. When talking about the different data types and what we're using them for at a high level in our programs, these are representations of the kinds of data that we want to hold in our programs. So Booleans for a true or false value, numbers for uh, things that we do math operations on, strings for long uh, sets of characters, and arrays for things that we want to um, have dynamic uh, length uh, or imply order. Um, and objects also fall into a specific category of data that we want to model. If an array is a set of similar kinds of data, so not just JavaScript data types, but they're all days of the week or letters of the alphabet or user guesses, then a single object is a set of heterogeneous data, data of different types. So numbers or strings or simply different kinds of data. And those are identified by fields. The idea of a heterogeneous set of data is something that most people have seen before. So a single line in a spreadsheet is one object. It has different fields and each field contains a different kind of data. So a web address, a number of years, a country, a number of dollars. And each of these information, pieces of information together combine into something that represents a single thing, like a company. Another representation could be an address book, where each individual entry, a person, or a single address for a person is represented by a name, a street, a phone number, etc. Let's take a look at the syntax for objects. We're going to create a single line in an address book or a single entry. An object begins with a curly brace. So this is unlike a block. It's unlike beginning a function or a conditional or a loop. This is the beginning of the type of data. So this is more analogous to a square bracket in an array. So once I have the curly brace, then um, I want to give the name of the field. So I'm going to start with name and then a colon. And then I can give the value. So my name and then I can give a second field and then a third field. And then when I'm done, I can give a closing curly brace. So notice how the different uh, fields have different JavaScript data types in them. And that's because the data inside my object is heterogeneous. So it's not all the same type of field. So let's look at how we can access each of the values uh, inside this object. So if I want to access a uh, single string, let's say the name, then I can say dot and then the uh, name of the field. Um, I can also use square brackets with the object and give the name inside of a string. 